Chapter 3078 opens with Catherine preparing to meet Liberty, Duncan, and Sony for lunch at the Fortress Hotel. Before heading out, she checks with Mr. Fraser to ensure that appropriate gifts have been prepared for Liberty and her family. Mr. Fraser, who has planned the gifts, reassures her that everything is ready, from high-quality cigarettes and wine for Duncan to toys and gold bracelets for Sony. He even brings along a single, beautifully bloomed rose from his flower room as a personal gesture for Catherine. As she and Mr. Fraser drive separately to the hotel, there is a subtle tension between the need for maintaining formalities and Catherine's underlying desire for genuine familial connection. Mr. Fraser suggests that he should drive Catherine to the hotel so she could enjoy a drink without worrying about driving back. However, she declines, citing her recent drinking the previous night and the like could that neither Liberty nor Duncan, who is still recovering, will indulge in alcohol. This exchange underscores her awareness of the social expectations placed upon her and her desire to remain in control, both personally and publicly. Upon arriving at the Fortress Hotel, she finds Liberty and Sony waiting for her in the lobby. Duncan, due to his mobility issues, remains upstairs. Catherine is pleased to see the gifts Mr. Fraser has prepared, although she jokingly warns him that Liberty might not appreciate the tobacco and alcohol intended for Duncan. Mr. Fraser brushes off the concern, confident in his choices and the thoughtfulness behind the gifts. His calm demeanor reflects his deep understanding of the family's dynamics and his role in supporting Catherine. The gifts he has selected for Sony are particularly notable as they reveal his lack of experience with children. He has chosen larger size clothing, reasoning that it is better for Sony to grow into them than to risk buying something too small. This practical approach, while thoughtful, also highlights the just adult's face when trying to connect with children, especially those they are not closely acquainted with. Mr. Fraser's effort to include a variety of items, from toys to gold bracelets, shows his intention to bridge this gap and make a positive impression on Sony. As Catherine and Mr. Fraser enter the hotel, they are greeted warmly by Liberty, who is holding a bundled-up Sony. The child, who is experiencing his first real snow, is wrapped in layers of clothing, making him look like a rice dumpling. When Catherine kneels to greet Sony, her attempt to connect with him is met with an honest but slightly awkward response. Sony, with wide-eyed innocence, admits that he does not remember her, questions her claim of being his aunt. Catherine gently reassures him, acknowledging that while he already has an aunt, there's room in his life for another. This moment captures the essence of her character. Her desire to be accepted and loved by her family, tempered by her understanding of the complexities that come with familial relationships.